it's very rare that we give such airtime to substitutes because often they're not pivotal to the result, although albeit it's becoming more and more commonplace with Liverpool this season. Especially where Harvey Ellis concerns. Absolutely incredible. We touched on it in the instant match reaction, Chris, and loads of the Discord chat have said Harvey Ellis for their man of the match, by the way, um, Ian Young included. But we said he clearly watches from the sideline and assesses whereby he can make an impact and where he can exploit weaknesses in the opposition potentially because it's by no sort of luck now it's not a fluke the fact he keeps coming into these games and making an impact like before his goal even I mean the goal is a stand up moment of course it is but again he's busy he's making things happen he actually wins the foul that gets IU sent off he's just all over the place he's a real nuisance it looks like for opposition but in the best possible sense because you touched on it before like he finds space and he finds a position on the pitch that allows him to get on the half turn and to drive and to make others around him tick I have been so so impressed with Harvey Elliott this season that he deserves plaudits and moreover he deserved that moment today for me he absolutely did and you said it in your match reaction I overheard before like he's one of us isn't he and all the lads are fighting for the shirt we can see that by the free coming from the death essentially in some of these games but it means as much to Harvey Elliott as it does any single one of them yeah it, it really does and you know you've got to you've got to you've got to feel it you, for, a, for a player who is a Liverpool fan you know you can see it in yeah. his face you can see it every time he gets the ball he feels a responsibility to perform in a Liverpool shirt like me and you would mm-hmm. but he's got the skills to perform in a, in a shirt and I just wonder why it's so stark almost of how good he's been as a sub because he was great from the start at the beginning of last season but do you have an inkling as to why it could be that he's performing well as a sub? It's really interesting there's obviously loads of different factors to that I think one of his key strengths generally speaking as a footballer is that aforementioned the desire to put the work in and his energy levels obviously they know no ends that he's got boundless energy he's like a little Duracell bunny and I wonder whether sort of entering the fray into games whereby opposition are tired for the most part a lot of teams not every team obviously your Man City's of this world etc have to do a lot of defending against Liverpool and it must be quite draining must be quite energy sapping because you haven't got a lot of the ball and it's hard to work without possession of course it is and you're constantly having to be aware of Mohamed Salah of Sabozlai of Trent and all that sort of stuff and all of a sudden you get to sort of 60-70 minutes into a game and this little nuisance of a football player with bags and bags of quality comes on and he all of a sudden is taking up these positions and he's a nightmare you just don't want him to be there and I think he just finds fun in that because defenders are fed up they're tired and they've had a hard afternoon as it is and then Harvey Elliott comes on and it's a Harvey Elliott that comes on like we've said who's discovered or unearthed a way of getting himself onto the ball and making things happen so I, I've been a little bit underwhelmed by his start because you're right last season when he was starting he was absolutely part of that triangle on the right and I thought it worked relatively well I think mean, there were question marks about him running backwards like Henderson used to do so well for us but for the most part in the attacking sense I think he had it I think he had it down but this season to me I, I hate pigeonholing football as certainly is this but he is a bit of a super sub isn't he that's kind of where he's fitting yeah I, I wonder whether I think one of the big sort of Concerned, it's not a criticism, it's definitely a concern about Harvey. Has always been his pace, yes, of course, that's. certainly as a winger, uh, yeah, certainly as a winger. And I, I just wonder whether the physicality of him being a, sm- a smaller midfielder than most of the players that he's coming up against, coupled with maybe the lack of pace compared to the mm. players that he's come up against, is just making it a bit easier in the latter half of games yeah. to show his qualities because you're right the tired comes in him. Yeah. they're maybe not quite as fast they're not willing to go that extra mile and how, that that sort of them playing 70 minutes before he comes on is level in the playing field and when it's a level playing field with his technical ability it's not a level playing field mm. all of a sudden he looks much the better sharper, player and, sharper yeah, yeah, quicker than yeah. everybody his, his, his vision on the field's brilliant he whips a right footed cross in today which mm. nearly nearly does something special he's looking to you know feed in players all the time the, the, the link up play was really good and then he's got the ability to finish it so I just wonder where that might be it. absolutely and what we should say about him as well it might come from being a winger 
sort of a special as a speciality certainly when he was growing up but his first thought is always attack and his first thought is always how can I make something happen in the in the advanced situation here and as you say when you are chasing a game which often seems to be the case for Liverpool having the ability to drop a player in whose instant sort of reaction to any situation is right let's go forward can only be a positive can't it but yeah I think you're right I think in terms of having him as an out and out starter it's so difficult because albeit we spoke about Sabal's like isn't enjoying his greatest moment right now he's brilliant he's absolutely mm. outstanding Dom Sabal's like so Harvey Elliott must be looking at that when it comes to Premier League anyway there's different conversations around Carabao Cup FA Cup and even Europa League but it's difficult for Elliott to start a game with a footy it just is because his two positions really are Mohamed Salah's <laughs> and Dom Sabal's lies. I mean I love you Harvey Elliott but Good best luck. of luck mate you know what I mean but if he can continue to do what he's doing and get his start in the Cups and stuff like that then that's it's great for Liverpool but I often look at it on the other side of the coin and go, is Harvey Elliott happy with that? And I guess as long as he is, on we go. Liverpool fan, you know, he's got a chance of winning another Premier League medal this season as part of a Liverpool squad. And I think, you know, there will be times where he, he looks at it as a, as a young player and thinks, well, what can I achieve as a first team? Those times could still be at Liverpool football. Yeah. But he's still so young. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, um, Martin Odegaard's the kind of player that he he, he sort of reminds me of mm. most, and I don't think he's at Odegaard's level yet. Um, but the side Arsenal is set up for Martin Odegaard, and yes. that's not the case at Liverpool. He's captain in the Odegaard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Liverpool side's not set up for Harvey Elliott to thrive in. If we had two DMs and you know it was a four-two-three-one, and maybe yeah. Harvey was playing off the back and stuff like that, who knows what he'd be able to achieve? Mm. But in terms of where we are with this system at the moment, I think Harvey's just he's in embraced what he is this season he looks happy enough to do it hopefully that can continue and yeah absolutely and again it comes back to what we said earlier about Klopp sort of building that harmony and sort of that squad unity whereby it doesn't matter whether you're starting games or not you are part of this team there's no 11 and the other lads it's it's all as one and Harvey Elliott's absolutely tapped into that 